Hi everyone, this is Marisa with Sweet Pea Curiosities. I'm so happy to be here. This is my first video, so bear with me. I'm a little bit nervous about doing it, but people have been asking me to uh, make videos of how I create things and, and give you some ideas. Um, so this video, I'm just, I'm going to show you a few of my um, designs that I do digitally and then what I do with them. And then I have some other shares that um, I want to go over. Uh, my next videos will be um, completing these uh, and so forth. So again, welcome and I'm glad you're here with me and I look forward to this journey. So these are my file folder digitals and what you get with them you'll get nine file folders um, that you can double side print them so you have the outside as well as the inside now i've done i've made books with mine um, but of course you can use them as well as just file folders to maybe put ephemera in um, I've seen people, um, and I've done it as well, where I've taken maybe three of them and I've made them insert into a junk journal uh, so that they can flip that sort of thing. Um, uh, another gal, I can't remember her name, I wish I, I could, she actually reduced the size of these and used them in her junk journals. So they were smaller in size that she could use um, as inserts. And so that was really neat. I thought that was fun. I never thought of, about doing that, so that's great. This one here is called uh, my vintage, it's my vintage um, file folders. And it comes with tons of ephemera, uh, very simple really to do uh, as far as that goes. I'm just gonna kind of flip through just a little bit here, just so that way that you can see uh, what it looks like. But it does have a lot of ephemera. Some of this ephemera I have added to this book, um, but I used the majority of it from the kit. It comes with these smaller pages. Um, all my kits do. And this one here, I just used as a smaller page, but you can also use them. I wish I would have uh, tagged them. Let's see if I can find one here as we go through. I've also used them where I've put them, taken the smaller one and I've put it on the front and used as a pocket or one of the pages as a, as a larger pocket. So that is something that you can do as well. But they're fun. They're just, uh, oh, here, see? So this one here, I've put... I've made this one into a pocket as well, so then I've added the tags in. So I've included these smaller pieces, well, smaller than the file folder, same shape, but smaller than the file folder to use. Um, so just, yeah, so these are just a lot of fun uh, to make. I find them uh, easier than, say, a a three four signature junk journal where you're where you're sewing and and that sort of thing and doing all the binding now the binding on this it's a it's called a no sew uh, binding and i learned this technique from shabby soul and you can find her on on um youtube as well and it's it's just using you know the tim holtz um linen tape and you need a stronger tape to do this so this is this tape here from uh tim holtz is is perfect for it uh, these here because they're thicker what i do is that i cut them down into smaller strips and i'll show this process when we make the the new one the new kit that i've just created but I uh, make them into smaller strips so that they're not so thick on my my folders. So, but it's it's an easy process. Um, I'm sure that there's other tape that you can use. Uh, I would love. I was actually out looking because I'd love to find one that's like a linen tape that's 
that's more just tans and creams and that sort of thing that maybe I could do designs on. And if you know of any, please let me know because I would love to um, be able to have uh, ones that are just, you know, that are plain that I could maybe embellish myself. But I do love Tim Holtz. Uh, you know, he's got so many different ones and I've used them. Um, but these ones here, these ones, uh, this is the patchwork uh, tape that I used on this. And I used it on both of these here. So, yeah, so that's that. And then this one here is the botanical kit that I have. So, um, I mean, I've added other ephemera that I had. This is a Tim Holtz that I use, but it does come with a lot of ephemera as well. Here's what I mean about the smaller pockets again. So I did that on the front where I have, you know, a, a pocket here in, in the front as well. So these are, um, yeah, they're just a lot of fun to create. Um, I think it's a good kind of a beginner, really, but, um, you know, to, to do. So yeah, a lot of fun. So this, let me show you my other kit that I've just created. And these kits are large. So um, they do come in zip files. Um, you'll get most likely five uh, zip files on them um, when you make them. So it's 29 pages but it's actually 38 pages if you count because I've double-sided printed them, if that makes sense. So we'll just kind of go through this one. Um, this one is butterflies. It's all about butterflies. And I have a folio out there as well that's all butterflies. So I figured, you know what? I needed to do one that was file folders. So um, I've just... and just finished actually creating this today. So um, I think it's really pretty. It's kind of a, you know, kind of impressionist, I guess, if that's what I want to say as far as the butterflies go and a little, you know, a little grungy and, and that sort of thing, which I love. So, and like I said, I've double-sided printed them so that when I cut them, then I have the inside as well. Now these here, what I did, I put these on cardstocks, just the covers. Um, I think it just makes it, it's just, it's just makes it more sturdy. If you don't double side print them, you, you know, you could back, uh, you know, t uh, glue back to back on them and that, you know, of course, would make them thicker so that works as well so so we'll just kind of go through this this is my butterfly and like I said it's just kind of shows kind of the wing it just uh you know kind of the impression of a of a butterfly here uh pattern and that's the back yeah so pretty colors I love the maroons and the you know the sepia the browns and blacks and that sort of thing so this here, the next set. So that would be the first three as far as a set goes, if you can kind of see that. This one here is, I've got the uh, daisies. I love daisies. And again, with the butterfly wings. So it's very pretty. And these measure, uh, let's see, I think that was seven. What was it? Seven by seven by four five uh, about seven and a quarter when you're done by just under five when you're done with them so you know they're a nice size as far as that goes so I'm excited to be here you guys um I hope everybody's doing well I had a great weekend I'll just start talking while I'm going through these I guess so this is kind of more greens um great weekend we had our grandson here he's 11 and I'm telling you the older I get the harder it gets I've got three grandsons um, all from my daughter and uh, so Jax is 11 um, Grayson is two and a half and then the baby is oh boy it's almost maybe eight months so I've I've watched all three of them at the same time and boy I'm telling you you forget as you get older <laughs> how 
how hard it is. So we're exhausted uh, afterwards, but it was fun. Our weather here, I'm in Oregon, so the weather here this year, or this year, this weekend was perfect. We've had so much rain. Um, these are, oh, sorry, these are these smaller, smaller, smaller little panels that you can use. So I give you some of those as well. But anyways, our rain, we've had so much rain here in Oregon, which is, you know, typical for Oregon. But usually in the spring, we have better weather and we just have not. And so it's, um, but we've had nice weather. It's been, you know, mid 70s. It's sunny again today. And uh, it's supposed to be, I don't know, I think until maybe midweek, it's supposed to start raining again. So but I got a lot of yard work done. So these are uh, index cards that that I've included as well. I love the index cards. I like, you know, having the, the little labels on them and being able to pull them out and being able to journal on. So these are some more. So yeah, you get quite a lot in this kit. Tons of pockets, uh, some ephemera here to go with it. Again, some more ephemera and pockets. Lots of options. More pockets, more pockets, some more pockets. So these are your corner pockets, little rounded pockets. These are the um, tabs. Cut them out, fold them in half. You can use them um, on your ephemera. These are just, you fold them up as inserts. So again, more corner rounded pockets again. I just think these are just so pretty. I just love how cool those things, they look, these butterflies. Some tags, I needed some color. I needed, you know, it tended to be a little bit, I don't know, too brown. So I love my color. So I, I did kind of a, all the butterfly tags and color. Then you've got some some quotes, some words, that sort of thing. These little ones here are great for those index cards or, or for the tabs on the, the file folders itself. Some more ephemera, some more ephemera, and that's it for that. So yeah, I'm excited to make this. It's a nice large kit, but it's it's fun to do. So I wanted to, let me grab my stuff here. This is a junk journal that I completed. But I wanted to show you some really cool books. And I've used, so the first book is this one. It's Birds, Eggs, Feathers, Nest by Mary Jo, is it Koch? 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And, um... I bought another one of these because I use this book all the time in my, and I'll go through this, but all the time in my, my junk journals. Um, so let's see, let's, let's do that first. And then when I went out to go look for it, so the first book I found was at Goodwill, I believe, or a thrift store, one of the thrift stores that I go to and I found it and I just fell in love. And so after cutting up so much of my my older book, I mean, you can see it's just kind of, it's in, it's in shatters here. It's just, I've got, you know, everything cut out um, from it. I thought, boy, I really want another one. So I went out and found it. And then I realized she has, oh my gosh, I was so excited. She has other books. So... <laughs> I bought more. So there's a dragonfly, beetle, butterfly, and bee, and then seed, leaf, flower, and fruit. Then I got this one, but I was thinking it was a bigger one, but it's a smaller one, and it's a, it says tea on it, and she's got one that's coffee, and I don't know. There's some other ones out there, but a lot of times when I go... Um, online to look at books they never show me the inside pages or anything so I really don't know what I'm ordering but this tea one was neat as well so I think I might get the coffee one too I've never done like a tea or coffee kind of a a, a journal so 
but her words, her, her, her sayings, um, are just really, really neat, uh, in them. So, yeah, so let's take a look. Let's first take a look at this one. And it's just really, really cool. I mean, look, just at the beginning, you've got a great nest, uh, for it here. Um, the feather here, I used that in one of my, in my journal here. Let's see, I've got everything kind of marked. Um, let's see, it was my feather one. Let's see if I can find it really quick here. I don't know. You know, when you try to find something, Oh, here it is. So here is in my book here. This was a tag, but so I cut it out and put it in here. This is my bird journal. So that was that was that one there. So that's fun. But yeah, she's got some great images. Well, I hope you I sure hope that you can see this. It's awfully big. Let's see. Let me let me go up a little bit, maybe. Sorry. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty big, but look. Oh my gosh, I've used the hummingbirds. I've used the, and they've got great little, you know, little quotes and sayings that you can cut out and that sort of thing. I mean, just fun, fun, fun. I mean, it's just... It's a big book. I mean, it's, I don't even know what size these books are, but they're, they're big. I mean, they're, what is that? 10, 10 by like 10 by 10. So they're, they're good size books. Um, but like this one here, I used this in here. That was in one of these pages here that I used. I guess maybe I should have showed, showed you the book first, but like, see, I've used some of the sayings here. Um, this is one of the pages that I used in these. Um, yeah, see, here's the hummingbird. The hummingbird. I've used all of that. Uh, so just really, I just, I use hers all the time. Because she's just got some great, great stuff. What was I looking for now? <laughs> Can you remember now? Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're probably thinking, why did I turn in, tune into this loony tune? <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing here. Okay. Well, you know, it is what it is. But oh, here, here it is. So this is an Edith Holden page that I used. And I thought, you know, it didn't have any kind of bird thing, but I left the page and putting it in. So I just cut that out and then I put it on top of the page. And it's great. It says robin egg blue, gall egg green, eggshell white. So yeah, fun, fun. But anyways, so yeah, it's just, uh, I don't I know you probably don't want me to go through the, the whole thing here, but... Definitely look at the owls. Oh, it's just so neat. And I think she probably, I think she painted all these or watercolored them and that sort of thing. So much talent. It's something that I wish. Look at that. I've always thought, what could I do with that? But it's so big. I'd have to have a big journal. But I thought, wow, it's really, really pretty. But yeah, I wish I had the talent to be able to paint draw and look at all of that look at all of that that you can cut out and use the paints the eggs you know the 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 little tickets all of that so yeah and then let's look at the other ones here so dragonfly beetle butterfly bee oh i haven't used these yet because i just got them super excited i just i kind of glanced at them when i was um, you know, when I got them, but I mean, just even this here, it has like all the little tags talking about, what is it? Roaches, earwigs, 
stoneflies, termites, you know, just even those little little things. If you're doing a botanical uh, journal, is just so much fun. Bug talk it talks about it. Bug and flea, cockney, rhyming slang for tea. <laughs> That's so cute. So let's see here. Oh, isn't this great? Let's go through here. We've got grasshoppers. Look at that. Look at all the dragonflies, butterflies. So many great pages. I should have marked some that were more cool. But even just the words, like I said, just like in the other one here. I mean, here's a really cool envelope here. Got the B. See. Look at that honey with all the bees. Look at that little Winnie the Pooh. All the different bugs. Look. Fun. I could have used this in my botanical. And I love this kind of stuff. I love putting this kind of things into a, a journal. I just think it makes it fun. So it should never be so serious. So yeah, great. Oh, look at that. Look at all the butterflies. Oh, it's fabulous. Yeah, it's good, good, good stuff. The webs. These are great. These are in some of her bird ones too, the those circle ones, so those are easy cut and to place. So, yeah. So that was great. I think I got these on, what is it called? What's the website? It's one of those book websites. Is it Abe? Abe Book Sites or something? Definitely check out other book sites when you're looking at books. I mean, I, I'm a huge Amazon person, but when I'm looking for books, I'll go out there and look at those other websites because you can definitely get them a lot cheaper so this one here is seed leaf flower and fruit so in memory of my mother freda frida so let's see i haven't really looked at this one let's see it's just kind of glance through okay so you've got your apples yeah fun look at this here just even that page right there Paint. I love using all of that kind of stuff. Oh, sunflowers. Oh, look at that. How pretty is that? I mean, that would be just pretty as a as a page in your book. I mean, this is this is is that the middle? Is that the middle? I can't tell. It's the middle middle page or not. It is. So I would take that and use that in one of my signatures pages because you could just, you know, obviously cut it down because you wouldn't want a 10 by 10. I mean, I guess maybe people do make 10 by 10 junk journals, but usually mine are, I don't know, 7 by 5 or, or so. Um, so, but that would be a pretty page in, in a, as a signature, wouldn't it? Yeah, fun. Yeah. Fun, fun. It's like the Edith Holden books. Oh. You know, I've got three of those books. I have two old ones, and then I have a newer edition. And I use the newer edition ones to cut up just because I just, oh, it's just so hard for me to cut up the older ones. Here's another one. This doesn't look like it's a full page, but that's pretty. I guess maybe you could, you know, you could cut it in half, you know, or fold it in half so then it's an insert that's a that's more of a, a kind of a rectangle if you wanted to, but yeah, your leaves, just fun, fun, fun. Yeah, that's great. All right, 
Well, thank you, everyone. I know this was just a quick video. I will be starting um, on, like I said, uh, making this file folder book so you can kind of see the process um, of how, to, how I bind it, how I uh, put it together. So stay tuned and I'm so excited to be here finally. I've been asked so many times, please start doing YouTube videos and it's just made me so nervous. <laughs> so I appreciate all of you and I look forward to many more uh, videos and getting to know you. Thank you so much. And again, this is Marisa with Sweet Pea Curiosities. And you know what? I will put, I will link down those books um, uh, in the comments below. Um, so that way, if you're interested, you can go out there and search for them as well. All right. Take care and have yourself a beautiful day.